Following the feasibility study which established the scope for medium-sized domestic biodigester program in Zambia, the Netherlands Development Organization, SNV, held a biogas field day at Lusunga Farm in Mapepi area in Chilanga to demonstrate the possibilities of biodigesters and biogas to government officials, cooperating partners, representatives from financial institutions and farmers in the area. The biodigester plants convert animal manure into combustible methane, known as biogas. SNV has launched over 500,000 digesters across the world, in particular in Africa and Asia. What SNV is hoping to do as part of a multi-country program of which Zambia is part, which we started in January this year. We're working with private sector partners from the Netherlands, specialists in developing milk chillers, Simgas and Muller. Muller BV, massive dairy operation in the, in the Netherlands. They're coming up with the prototype for the milk chiller that runs directly from biogas. And what we're hoping is that that model, it's something that can be repaid by a small holder dairy farmer, so someone with around five cows uh, or more, can be repaid within 12 months. We're hoping that it can be at least assembled locally, if not manufactured locally. The prototype should be ready for rolling out in 2015. And that, I think, is an incredible market advantage for dairy farmers in Zambia. But in order to develop the market for that, we need a market for biogas. And right now, biogas in Zambia is still at its infancy. So what SNV has really been trying to do, by training the masons, by setting up the demo gas plants, um, by working with finance institutions to help farmers access that finance, the organization has partnered with the Daily Association of Zambia and other players in the industry to promote the technology by ensuring that it is of high standards. We have come a long way with SNV in rendering uh, their support to this industry. I am reliably informed that SNV has so far conducted 28 meetings among small-scale daily farmers countrywide to create awareness about biogas utilization. Furthermore, SNV has constructed a total of 10 demonstration biogas digesters among selected dairy farmers, including here at Mr. Montali's farm where we are today. of Agriculture and Livestock Wilbur Samosa, in his speech read by his deputy, Honorable Lakson Kazabu, commended SNV on the affordable and sustainable innovation, stating that energy has a key role in economic and social development. For this, the government will facilitate the formation of a national biogas implementation unit that ties up reasonably well with what uh, uh, Dr. Ellis has already stated. <coughs> I would like to call upon our cooperating partners to seriously consider supporting us in this area in order for us to attain sustainable development of the biogas sector and subsequently provide energy to poor rural farmers who need it to enhance their productivity levels and reduce the unsustainable levels of deforestation. What we have here is the pipe now. So she's a pipe where the gas, because the gas is stored at the upper level. Yeah, the, the, the tank goes in the area. So the gas, the gas is piped from here, then it goes into the houses now. Then I'll show you the biogas technology the is new in Zambia, and in order to raise awareness the and the support to use this technology, SNV, in collaboration with Lusaka Vocational Training Center, has currently trained 47 masons, including one female, in biodigester construction, maintenance, as well as marketing, to provide poor rural farmers with much-needed energy. We use a, a special kind of way to build it uh, in the sense that uh, it has to be gas tight. Once we build it, we do the plastering inside. We use about we do about seven layers of plastering. 
Then after we got a special kind of uh, cement that we use that is a waterproofer that we use to seal it. Then after the plaster, we bury the dome. Then uh, we give it three months retention time. We start feeding it with uh, cow dung. It can be pig dung, it can be chicken manure. Then after three months, the gas will start coming out. Then it will be ready for use. One cow can give you 10 to 15 kgs of dung. Then after, you need to fill it up at least with a 20 liter container, one on one with water. Yeah, but if you have got any other uh, facilities, you can also connect the toilet. Then the, the same animal waste can also go in there. You don't have to touch it. So it can, it's a combination of this. You can use piggery, uh, chicken droppings as well. Uh -huh. You can also use uh, the, the human uh, waste as well. This is indeed a blessing for Chilanga district being a livestock farming area as it should benefit our livestock farmers. I therefore urge SNV to extend this wonderful program to more farmers in our district especially on the western side of Chilanga, where there is uh, such huge tracts of land. And in fact, you will find people uh, already in the business of uh, keeping dairy animals. This program will help our farmers to reduce on electricity costs and channel savings to increase productivity. The technology also supports off-grid smallholder daily farmers who need to chew their milk overnight before delivering to the collection centers. So what we're trying to do is look at a way of designing a chiller that runs straight off biogas that will support dairy farmers so that they can actually use that to chill their milk and then they can increase the sales of the milk that they're actually producing already. The biogas provides additional benefits in bio slurry and organic fertilizer that enhances agricultural production without damaging and degrading the environment. So there's no need for me to uh, use fertilizer or anything because I've discovered this very, very effective. And uh, so long we feed the plant, we have this plant. It can also be used as energy for lighting and cooking on farm. So you can cook for about six hours, lighting for about eight hours. So the big stove, this one? These are normal gas stoves, but it, because you we don't have, um, yeah, these are, yeah, you modify them. It's just the inlet which you modify, the rest are the same. We are able to use gas uh, for lighting and for cooking. As you know, Zesco uh, tariffs have gone up considerably, and a lot of people are finding it very difficult, especially for cooking. Eight demonstration biodigesters have been constructed in Copper Belt, Lusaka, and Southern Province, and over 40 daily farmers are in the process of signing contracts with Masons to construct digesters. My paper Daily Cooperative Society is thankful and happy that SNV, together with the local farmers, have successfully constructed the 16 cubic meter biogas plant in this location. We are sure that this will motivate many of our farmers to acquire a facility. Many of our farmers live long distances from the milk collection center and are not able to bring the milk, the milk in the afternoon. As you will be told, the biogas has an answer to this problem and it will boost milk output.